Hello everyone and welcome back to this nanophotonics and plasmonics course. Uh, this video we go through the derivation of the wave equations for the electric and magnetic fields uh, from Maxwell's curl equation. So we start from the two uh, Maxwell's curl equation uh, which are describing Faraday's law and Ampere's law. So Faraday's law gave you the curl of the electric field equal to negative uh, of the time derivative of the magnetic induction and Ampere's law gives you the curl of the magnetic field H which is the sum of the time variation of the electric displacement plus the current density. So we're going to end on this, this equation 1a and 1b for convenience, we're going to use those equations. Uh, and we can also need to use the two expressions for the polarization and magnetization. So we have the electric displacement, which is proportional to the electric field, plus the polarization. And then uh, we also have the magnetic field, which is proportional to the magnetic induction B minus magnetization. So we're going to use those, those equations and name them 1C and 1D. So now what we're going to be doing is just injecting uh, equations 1C and 1D into equations 1A and 1B. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is just rewriting the first uh, equation for this law, the curl of the electric field. And now instead of using the, the induction, the magnetic induction, we can actually use equation 1D here, uh, just uh, express uh, the magnetic induction and put that into Faraday's law. So by doing so, uh, what we obtain is negative mu node time derivative of the magnetic field, negative mu node minus mu node time derivative of the magnetization uh, now we can do the same for the second equation here for Ampere's law. So what we're going to be doing in this particular case is use equation 1C and use equation 1C into Ampere's law. So we have this time derivative of equation 1C basically, so we have epsilon node time derivative of the electric field plus time derivative of the polarization plus the current density which remains from Ampere's law. So we're gonna name, we're gonna la label those equations to A and to B. So now the next step would be uh, to take uh, the curl of uh, those those equations, uh, those two equations. So let's let's do that. So we have the curl operator applied twice on the electric field. Then we just have the curl operator applied on equation two a on the left hand side on the right hand side of equation two a. So the time derivative and the curl operator can be uh, interchanged. Uh, they can they commute. So we have, uh, by convenience, you will see that it's more convenient to write the time derivative of the curl of the field, magnetic field. And then here we have similar time derivative, the curl of the magnetization. Uh, same for the second equation. We take the curl of the second equation, equation 2b, and we end up with the curl of the curl of the magnetic field, which is equal to epsilon node time derivative 
and we have the current operator of the electric field was time derivative the current operator of the polarization was the curl of the current density so those two equations 3a and 3b will be combined with equation 2a and 2b uh, to express one single equation for the electric field and one single equation for the magnetic field so if you if you look at the equation 3a for instance as it is uh, expressed right now you have the electric field expressed as a function of the magnetic field uh, as well as the, the magnetization and equation 3b is a, a magnetic field expressed as a function of the electric fields uh, polarization and, and current density and we want uh, only electric fields and only magnetic fields in either of these equations uh, so let's uh, let's do that so what we're gonna be we're gonna be doing here we're going to be using equation 2a uh, into equation 3b, which is here. So that's why I wrote the time derivative first. So now we have this curl of electric field that we can actually substitute by the expression in, given in 2a. And then same thing. So we have the curl of the magnetic field here that you're going to be using to substitute the curl of the magnetic field in equation 3a. So let's uh, let's do that. So we can uh, actually rewrite those equations uh, fairly simply, where we have only electric field or only magnetic fields. So let's start with the first one. So we have the curl operator applied twice on the electric field. We have the negative mu node coming from from this equation then we have coming from equation 3 uh, 2b we have the epsilon node that shows up now then we have a second order time derivative of the electric field so now we substitute the magnetic field h by an expression containing the, the magnetic field the electric field then we have negative mu node second order time derivative of the polarization negative mu node time derivative of the current density negative mu node time derivative of the curl of the magnetization and for the second equation, uh, we follow a similar uh, a similar path. So we have now the magnetic fields. So we have similarly uh, here we have the epsilon node coming from this equation. We have the mu node showing up from the substitution uh, from equation 2a. Now we have a second order time derivative of magnetic field that shows up. So we, uh, we uh, removed uh, the dependence on the electric field. Epsilon node, mu node, second order time derivative of the magnetization plus the time derivative of the curl of the polarization. So this term uh, really remains from equation 3b so that's the uh, the, the, the second and, uh, and third part of equation 3b uh, where we do have the polarization and the current density so those expressions uh, we can actually uh, refine them a little bit uh, in terms of cosmetic uh, so we're just going to be rearranging a little bit those, those equations, those two equations, uh, however uh, they contain all the physics that we, we need. So we have uh, a wave equation for the electric field and an, ex an equation for the magnetic field. So we're just going to be rearranging them a little bit, uh, just using a substitution. And we're going to just introduce the speed of light 
uh, which is just uh, epsilon node, 1 over epsilon node mu node. So with that in mind, uh, we're just going to substitute uh, all the epsilon node mu nodes uh, product uh, into the C squared. Uh, we're going to also rearrange up with those equations. We're going to move all the, the E fields and H fields on the left hand side as a function of all the other quantities. And we're going to put things, uh, we're going to start factoring a little bit uh, out those, those expressions. So the first one uh, that requires a little bit more work, uh, the curl of the curl of the electric field. I said I'm going to be moving uh, the electric field uh, on the left hand side. So we have one uh, over C squared that shows up. And we have the time derivative, uh, the time derivative second order of the electric field. So now we express all the, the rest. Uh, we can put the, the mu node and one time derivative uh, as a factor here, time derivative of the polarization plus the current density plus the curl of the magnetic field. So this is just rewriting the equation using this, uh, this, this factorization here, uh, introducing the C square and moving the electric field on the left hand side of the expression. Uh, as far as the second expression goes, that's way simpler. Uh, we don't have to reorganize much. Uh, so we have also the one over C square co uh, coefficient that uh, shows up here. Now we have the second order time derivative of the magnetic field. And this is going to be expressed as a function of all the other quantities. So we have the curl of the current density. We have the curl of the time derivative of the polarization. So once again, we can flip the time derivative and uh, the curl operators. And we have 1 over c squared second order time derivative of the magnetization M. So this uh, gives you the two wave equations uh, as uh, they are expressed in the, in the lecture notes, as they are expressed in textbooks, typically uh, one wave equation for the electric field and one wave equation for the magnetic field.